Hey there, welcome to this video. This week we're going to be diving into the collective circuit group of your human design chart. And we're continuing our series moving through the different circuit groups. So a couple weeks ago, we did the individual circuit group. This week, we're going to do the collective circuit group. And in the near future, we'll be moving into the tribal circuit group. And this is to the circuit groups of human design are really to help you understand your gates and channels at a high level. If you're like most people, you have probably really started to understand your type, strategy, authority, and profile, but you see all those gates and channels colored in throughout your chart, not really sure what any of it means, and it's a lot of information which can be overwhelming. So understanding the theme of the circuit groups and what channels or gates you have in a circuit group can really support you in understanding how to utilize and bring your design into your life and live it every day. So real quick, before we dive in, just want to remind everyone that's watching that we are giving a human design reading away at the 50 subscriber mark. So we are just six people away from that. So could be this week, could be this video. All you have to do to enter the giveaway is subscribe to our channel here and leave a comment on this video and hit that like button. The more videos you leave a comment on, the more chances you'll have to win the reading. It's a two hour human design reading with me, usually a $397 investment. Again, we're giving it away to one lucky subscriber who comments on a video. So I'll talk about that again at the end of the video. For now, let's dive in. So the collective circuit group. Now it would probably help you to have your chart in front of you. And if you haven't downloaded your chart from my website yet, highly recommend you go to orionmohab.com slash HD guide. And on that page, you'll be able to download a 19 page report that does tell you about your type strategy, authority, and profile. And you'll see your unique personalized chart on that page eight, I think. So I invite you to download that and have it open so that as you're going through this video, you can look and compare to your chart and see what gates and channels you have that are in this collective circuit group. So up on the screen now, you should be seeing a picture of the, all of the gates and channels in the collective circuit group. And you'll notice that they are on the outside of the chart. So they're either on the outside of your chart, kind of, you know, up here, the two outer channels corresponding to the neck, um, and then also connecting the third eye Ajna to the head, but also the central channel, the two outer channels, all the way down your central channel, not the middle channel. And then also on the outskirts of your field. So the collective circuit group is where your energy, your consistent energy, if you have any gates or channels defined in this circuit group, it's where your energy interacts with the people around you as you're moving through the world. So as you are crossing paths with people and your auras are intersecting, people are going to feel the certain frequency of these collective channels and gates in your aura. And if you have a lot of them, then they're really going to feel this element. And the element of the collective circuit group, the kind of theme of it is sharing. So people with collective channels are really, really about sharing what they know, sharing their wisdom, sharing their gifts, sharing their support of others in, in some fashion. You may find yourself, if you have a lot of collective channels and gates, wanting to share quite a bit with others and, and connect with others and have that be a bigger part of your journey. And the collective circuit group is actually broken up into two circuits, the understanding circuit and the sensing circuit. So we're first going to look at the understanding circuit and the understanding circuit is all about logic. And just a preview, the sensing circuit is more about emotions, the, the, the illogical aspect of our, our reality here of what it's like to be a human. So first starting again with the understanding circuit and this idea of logic. So you can see that the pattern is kind of crisscrossed. So it's going first on the uh, right side of your chart and then crisscrosses over down to the left side. And then at the bottom, connecting your sickle to your root, I can't get high enough, there it crisscrosses again. And then there's also the, the two channels connecting the, on the left side of your chart over here. These channels are all about logic and understanding. So if we start at the bottom, the, the bottom channel 52, nine, this channel is the source of focus. So gate 52 is the gate of stillness. Gate nine is the gate of focus. So if you have this channel, you bring focus to anything you do to any group you're a part of, and you have the capacity to be really still and focus on something for long periods of time. If you have this channel, it means you're a generator because your sacral will be defined. So you always want to make sure you're following that sacral response to make sure you're, you're putting that focus into the right areas. This is really about using your focus and concentration to find the patterns in life and to then test those patterns through experimentation and improving 
what you see, improving the patterns that you see in the world through correction. So if we look at the bottom of the chart, we'll see first the channel 5018. So this is about being able to have the drive and motivation to see what isn't working, what patterns are not working in society, in your community, in your family, in your life. And then 18 is the intuitive ability to be able to see what isn't working. So you have the, both the motivation and the ability to see what isn't working. And then 48 is the instinctive ability to see the solutions, while 16 is the skills to do something about it through practice, through mastering skills over time. So as we move up from there to this channel connecting the throat to the Ajna, we're moving from the gate of detail 62 to the gate of opinions, gate 17. So this is about gathering the facts, gathering the details to, to prove that this new pattern is actually the right pattern to do and to, to form opinions about it that can be then be grounded into reality with fact. And then when we jump over, we have this channel 63, four, which is 63, the gate of doubt, Gate four, the gate of formulization. So formulating ideas from doubt. This is the stereotypical scientific mind, the skeptical mind, the mind that wants the data, wants the facts, wants the details. And this isn't a bad thing. It's, it's this kind of mind that does doubt the status quo to allow us to create something better out of the, the current situation that seemed like it was really good for a while. So if you have 63, four, or either of those two, this is really about using that scientific mind to doubt what's happening in the community. So you can, or in your community or in your life or in the world, so you can see what isn't working and formulate ideas ideas and opinions, again, with gate 17, and then details with gate 62 that can be tested over time with gate 16, et cetera, et cetera. I think you get the idea. So there's this logical way of being with the understanding circuit. And then if we look up the central channel, there is the channel 515, which has to do with rhythm and routine, as well as when it's good to have a routine and when it's good to more live in the extremes. Now, depending on which of those gates you may have. 731 is a leadership channel of someone who can be really, really deeply seen as a leader. Again, what you want to look for in your chart is which of these gates and channels you have, how many of them you have. If you have a lot of them, then to know that without even trying to understand these gates and channels in detail or how they all work together, you can have a sense that sharing is not going to be important in your life. And, you know, making sure you're sharing in accordance with your strategy and authority and profile, which again, you can look at in your free 19 page report that you can get at orionlehef.com slash HD guide. But at a high level, you can really understand that sharing, it's important for you to share. It's important for you to share in your unique way. Now let's look at the other side of things. We're going to look at the sensing circuit. Now the sensing circuit is the other side of it. So we have at the top here, the channel of abstraction 6447. So unlike the channel of logic, this is about not figuring things out, not looking for details. Gate 64 is the gate of confusion, letting yourself be in the confusion. And then 1156 down here, connecting the Ajna to the throat is all about storytelling, being able to take ideas and take your life experiences and turn them into engaging stories that stir the emotions of others. So these gates and channels, the theme is less about logic, more about emotions. And then moving down over this way, 35, 36, this is connecting your solar plexus to your throat. So this is the solar plexus being the emotional center. This is a direct connection to express your emotions. So this could be sometimes an intense channel. Gate 36 is the gate of crisis. It's about learning through intense emotional experiences. That doesn't mean your life always has to be in crisis. It just means that you're designed to learn from emotional highs and lows and to surrender to that process. And gate 35, the gate of change, always looking for change. And then following that down to 3041, connecting the solar plexus to the root, this is all about you know, dreams and desires and fantasy and emotions and, and letting your dreams and desires stir emotions within you. And those emotions help to manifest some of those dreams into reality. And, and just to share some of the other ones, because again, the keynote of the collective circuit group is sharing. So sometimes these fantasies, these dreams that stir up emotions are also meant to stir up emotions in others, even if you never manifest them, just talking about them. So. There's this beautiful uh, element, I think you can see of this circuit, that while the beautiful element of the understanding circuit was more around logic, this is more about having experiences in life, going through things, having emotional experiences and stirring the emotions of others. It's the sensing circuit, the kind of feeling circuit. 
And then down on the bottom, we have 5342. And this is all about going through cycles in life. And as well as 2946 at a high level, I can't go into too much detail about the channels here. There's so much beautiful wisdom in each of these channels. But this, this journey between from 5342 to 2946 is about cycles and making sure you're saying yes to the right things, because once you start them, you're going to need to finish them. And again, there's a lot of intricacies in, in the specifics of gate 5342, 2946 that I can't go into in a high level video like this, but just know if you have one of these gates, it's about really especially 4029. Uh, in the sacral center, it's about following your sacral and making sure you're saying yes to the right things because it's about completing the things that you start. Following that pathway up, we have 1333 connecting the G center to the throat center. And this is another leadership channel, a little bit different though. This one is more about listening, listening and reflecting taking time to pause. So this is a leader who's really good at listening and hearing people and pausing to reflect on their experiences so they know how to lead and they can glean the lessons from their own experiences to then bring it to their community and lead their community effectively. So I think you can see the, the, the beautiful nature of the understanding circuit and the sense, sensing circuit. And if you have a little, some of the channels in both of these, the keynote for all of the channels in both circuit groups is sharing. And the, hopefully you got a little bit of a sense of in what specific ways you're here to share, but there's a lot more to it than that. You know, your strategy, authority, profile, the gates and channels you have in other circuits all complement that. So as we close out this video, I hope it really helped you in just having, get, being able to look at your chart and actually kind of start to understand what you're looking at and get an idea of how you can start interpreting the gates and channels. If you really, really want to dive in deep, that really does take a reading. And again, we're giving one away at the 50 subscriber mark at recording. We are just six away. So I hope you do choose to subscribe, comment on the video, hit the like button. That's all you need to do to, to enter the giveaway. The more videos you comment on, the more chances you'll have to win. We're probably going to be giving this away in the next week or two. So I hope that you choose to enter the giveaway. I would love to see your comment, ask some questions, share a little bit about your chart or where you are in your journey with human design. I answer every comment. And if you're interested in just diving right into a human design reading, you can also purchase one. Just let me know that. You can shoot me an email at orion at orionohab.com. And we'll talk about that again. The price for that is $3.97. It's two hours long. And I would love to dive in with you and explore your chart and help you glean all of the wisdom out of it so you can walk through your days tuned into your natural way of moving through the world. So until next time, I hope this video helped you. Hope you're having a beautiful day and I will see you on the next video.